What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I'm going to be bringing you another video featuring Bob. Now I just ran a video with Bob yesterday, another what are prisoners really eating in prison video. It was the breakfast video featuring possibly one of the worst breakfast trays that there is. Now I want to let you guys know that I'm not going to be going back to back all of the time with videos featuring Bob and for any of you who don't know who Bob is, probably thinking Joe, who is Bob? This is an inside source that we have who is in a maximum security prison with a cell phone who has been sending videos to me showing me and all of us what prisoners are actually eating in a maximum security prison right now and also other things to come like what I have for you guys today. Today Bob's going to be sharing with us a little of what it's like to try to cook and also clean inside of a maximum security prison and really this video focuses primarily on the prison toilet. And I think that this is a good video to share because trust me, this is pretty pretty in depth in terms of things that prisoners are using the prison toilet for. Hell, I've even done a video about the many different uses of the prison toilet and there are some things that the prison toilet is used for that I didn't mention in that video. And even with that, you guys are going to see firsthand a guy at a maximum security prison who actually uses a prison toilet for all of the things that he's getting ready to share with us and trust me when I tell you, you're probably going to be a little shocked. Maybe. Now I know there have been a few comments where people think that this is staged somehow or that this is fake. Well, hopefully today's video is going to be able to alleviate any worries about just that. I'm quite sure that it will. I don't want to make this intro super long, folks. We're going to be getting to some other content tomorrow, but today we're going back inside of a maximum security prison to see the many different uses of a prison toilet and also how Bob cooks and also cleans in every sense of the word in prison. I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day out there in the free world and staying safe from the pandemic. I want to welcome you to a maximum security prison somewhere in the United States. My name is Bob. Some people have called me Bad Bob. But the fact of the matter is, I'm just the average guy who made some very poor choices at a very young age. As a result, I have been in prison longer than most of you have been alive. The question has been asked, how do we know that Bob is really in prison? Well, today, I'm going to prove it by showing you the prison toilet and its many uses. Anyone who has ever been to prison before knows exactly what it looks like. For those of you that don't, today you'll get an opportunity to see. And if you have any question about its authenticity, you can simply Google what does a prison toilet look like, and I'm sure it will show up. The prison toilet has a variety of uses. It would probably be shocking to the conscience for those of you who have never been incarcerated. So, without further ado, let's show you the toilet and get this thing started. This is your standard prison toilet. Unless you are in or have been in a facility that is very very old and had porcelain toilets this is the toilet of this generation as you can see it's stainless steel has a small sink in it a hot water button a cold water button and to the far right we have the flush button as you might be able to tell I have clothes floating in my toilet and there's a bar of soap on the side of it. Well, there's a reason for that. I have a tendency on lockdowns such as this to wash my clothes in the toilet, just like most prisoners do. As you can see, we like to use the prison toilet as a washing machine. It comes in very handy. And it works very well. A lot of you may be asking, why in the world would anybody use a toilet for a washing machine? Well, there are many 
answers to that question. First of all, most prisons only do laundry once a week. And the manner in which they do it, oftentimes, their stuff comes back smelly and still dirty because it is washed in a net bag and dried in a net bag. So it'll be mildewy and stuff like that. But the major reason is because prisons always go on lockdown. Such as right now during this pandemic, my facility has been on lockdown for many months. As a result, we can't get good laundry service. And you're not going to live in a cell with another man and be wearing dirty, stinky clothes. That's just not going to happen, or you will be dealt with, and you will be dealt with harshly. Everything in prison is about respect. And not keeping up your personal hygiene is a sign of disrespect. So when you're on lockdowns, or any other time you need to wash your clothes, you just do like I'm doing now. Drop something in the washing machine, scrub it up a little bit, and then when you're ready to rinse, it's really easy. That's all you do is give it a nice flush, drop it back in there, and wait a minute for the water to fill up. And you've got clean water. And you just do that over and over until it's clean. And then you just wring it out like so. And hang it up to dry. But there's also at least a hundred other uses for the toilet. Alright, now I'm getting ready to show you one of the other many uses of the prison toilet. This is a beef summer sausage. They sell this in the commissary for two dollars and some change. And it's wonderful in a meal, but when you are locked down and you don't have access to a microwave, which some institutions have in their day rooms, then you have no way to cook it in your cell. At least, that's what a lot of people would think. However, there is a way to do it, and it works pretty well. First of all, you slice up the sausage and cut it in small pieces. Here's an example. This has already been cut up. For the purpose of saving time, because I can't actually cook this stuff underneath the foam, because the heat from the fire would melt the foam, and I'm not trying to lose this thing. So, I've already cooked the sausage, but I'm going to show you how we do it. Alright, most prisons have sodas in a can. So, it's really very easy. You take her fingernail clippers. I've already started on this to save time. And you just cut the top off, like so, so that you can drop the chunks of sausage down in there to cook. Now, you just take these clippers and keep, keep working at the can. It'll whip right up. And, uh, until you get enough open where you can get that sausage down in there. Now, once you've got enough, it looks like I can work with that right there. That's big enough that I can drop those pieces of sausage on in there. The next step will be to poke holes in it. Because you're going to run this pencil straight through so that you can hold the can over the fire. So the easiest way I have found is to just use the end of the fingernail clippers and just press it down on the can and punch a hole. Then you just drive the pencil to the other side and push it right through like that. Very simple. Now see, 
you can hold it over the fire without burning yourself. So, the next step will be to drop the pieces of sausage into the can. Once you've done that, you need to make a fire. So the way to make the fire is toilet paper. Now again, I'm not going to burn any toilet paper because I've already done it and we're in the middle of a pandemic. And I can't waste this stuff. This stuff is valuable. I don't want to have to go back to using a rag to wipe my ass, which I have been doing. Everybody has to at some point or another during a pandemic. Toilet paper is only issued one roll per week. And if you don't make that last, then you don't have no commissary where you can buy any in the commissary for a dollar twenty-five a roll, then you're out back. And you're gonna have to find something to wipe your ass with. I use this little small rag here. This is my shit rag. But I'll get to this later. Alright, I'll leave it right there so I don't forget. So, what you do is you get, this is just a little bit because I don't want to waste my toilet paper. But normally I would use about a half of a roll to cook a sausage. You just wrap it around your fingers like this, and then you fold it in. You make it look kind of like one of those sterno cans. You just fold the end in all the way around, like so, all right? Then you take, you do the other end the same way. Just fold it in. This one's not that great because I'm not using as much toilet paper because I'm trying to conserve it. But, you get the general idea. Now once you have both ends folded in like that, you're gonna light it on fire from underneath. Now, once this starts burning, it'll burn like a sterno can. You just sit it right down here and let it burn. But before you light it, what will happen is it'll start burning around the edges and then the fire will go over the sides. And then you've got a mess. So you don't want to do that. So just take your hand, dip it in the toilet, and dampen the outside. That way it's not going to burn. It's only going to burn in the center. Alright, once you got that ready, you just sit it, light it, sit it down on the toilet like that. Grab your sausage and hold it over top. The grease from the sausage will cook, help to cook the sausage faster because it'll just boil. The sausage boils in its own grease. And it'll take a couple of minutes, you know, shake it up just like that, stir it around, let it burn, and once you get it how you want it, just take and sit that down, and this is what's so convenient about using the toilet. Once you're done, all you do is, you want to do it real quick so that you don't get a bunch of smoke in your cell. These things will make a lot of smoke if, if you're not experienced using them, but if you're experienced, they're not going to put off any smoke until they hit the water. So what you want to do is flush the toilet, hit the button first before you drop it in the water. So it'll go down before the smoke hits, like this. Now I, I was a little slow there, so as you see it didn't go all the way down, but it did put the fire out. That's the general idea. So that's how you cook the sausage for your food when you're stuck in your cell and you can't get to a microwave. Now back to wiping the ass. Yeah, I know, I know. Quite a mixture. First I'm cooking, now I'm wiping my ass all in the same video. However, this is what you do. You just drop it in the water. Your toilet's always spotless because you keep it clean because you have to use it for so many things. But you just drop it in the water, get it nice and wet, soak it up a little bit, 
reach down there and wipe that ass. Rinse it off. Soap it up some more. Wipe that ass. Rinse it off. Soap it up. Wipe that ass. Rinse it off. After a few times, squeeze it out. And, uh... Wash your toilet so you got these nice clean water. And wash the soap off your ass. Then you just get nice and wet and wipe the ass. Squeeze it out. Wipe the ass. And just keep doing that so your ass is nice and clean. And then of course you gotta wash your rag real good. As you can see, this is my ass wipe rag. And as you can see, it's nice and clean. You don't see no doo-doo on there. Another use for the prison toilet is using it as a table. Most cells do not have a table and chairs, things like that. So what you do is you use a stack of magazines as a chair or a trash can as a chair. And as you can see, you just sit here and play chess on your table. It's very convenient. One of the other uses of the prison toilet is a writing table. When you want to write a letter home to your mother or your wife, or maybe you have a friend out here, works as an excellent writing surface to write a letter. very handy. Just pull up a trash can and sit on it and write your letter. There's a whole lot of other uses for the prison toilet as well. Some people use it to sit on while they're dealing with their contraband for a variety of reasons. One is usually when the cop is walking by making rounds if he sees you sitting on the toilet. Nine times out of ten they're gonna look the other way because the majority of the officers are female. Or, you're sitting on a toilet so that if they're raiding, you can drop whatever it is in the toilet and flush it before they can get in and catch you with it. Now, on to the seedier side. A little more shopping side of the prison toilet. Anybody who has ever been around back in the old days when they had riots in the 70s and early 80s will know this. The prison toilet can save your life. In the event of a fire or in a riot when the cops come in spraying on you with gas and pepper spray and everything else and you can't get any clean air to breathe. Well, there's a little dip little U underneath the toilet. That's what keeps water in the toilet. But the pipes are always empty. So all you do is take the water out of the toilet, get a cup or whatever, and take it all out of the toilet and dump it into a trash can. And as soon as you get it open, you got a clear airway. And all you do is put your head down in here and put a blanket over your head, and you can breathe clean, fresh air and the smoke and the gas won't bother you. Another thing you can do with the toilet is use it for a telephone. Same principle. Empty all the water out, have your buddy five cells down, do the same thing, and then you can talk to each other. Just get down here and talk into the hole, and you can hear each other clear as a bell like you're using a cell phone. And there's not one other thing. You get you some string. Take long string. Depends on how many cells away you're trying to fish. Just to be on the safe side, I'd use about 20 yards of string. And I would make a hook and tie it to the end of the string. Now I'd make the hook to look like a fishing hook or one of them three-pronged snag hooks used in fishing. And uh 
after you make those out of paper clips. Tie that on the end, flush it down the toilet, then have your buddy do the same thing. Your lines are going to get entangled. Now you're hooked up together. So if he's trying to send you some dope or whatever, he wraps it up in plastic like maybe these gloves, ties it on the line, then you just pull it up when he gives you the signal. And there you have it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this segment on some of the uses and conveniences of the prison toilet. Stay tuned, I'll have more things coming to you in the very near future. This is Bob saying good night. If you've watched this entire video in its entirety, pretty crazy all of the things that Bob shared with us in this. Being on lockdown because of the pandemic, the fact that they're only getting one roll of toilet paper a week, that's something that I've shared quite a bit here on After Prison Show. And if you ain't got no toilet paper and you can't afford to get none off of commissary and you gotta wipe your ass with a rag, damn, prison ain't no place that you wanna be. I hope these videos are kinda scary to the youth or anybody who's living a reckless type of way that could lead to them going to prison. Let this series here on After Prison Show, the in-prison show, essentially, be eye-opening to you. You better change your damn ways before you're locked up in a maximum security prison wiping your ass with a cloth rag. There's some other videos that Bob has told me he wants to share actually doing some prison cooking as well and also getting some stories from this man, checking out some commissary and also some other prison trays as well. So I hope you guys will look forward to all of that. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment and as always until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!